It's 15 questions about your mother and how I met her with a topic picked by Patreon subscriber Carrie Moore. This is Trivia with Buds. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. This is the daily pop culture trivia show that comes at you, you guessed it, every single day. Thanks for checking out the show. Hopefully a friend told you about it or you just searched trivia on iTunes and it came up and you said, I'll check out this son of a gun. And here you are. And today's episode is all about the TV show, How I Met Your Mother, as picked by Patreon subscriber Carrie Moore. Carrie has been asking me to do this for a while. And since she donates $5 or more on Patreon, she gets to pick one topic that I'm guaranteed to do within the month. This month, she said, let's get to that How I Met Your Mother episode. And I said, sure thing, Carrie, sure thing. So we're going to jump into this show. I love this show. I was actually on this show, season epi- season episode, season eight episode something. I think the episode's called Ring Up, and it's where Barney's going to propose to Robin, and uh, I play a roller skating hipster. I think I've told the story on the podcast before. If you search Ryan Bud's How I Met Your Mother, you will find some screenshots of me, and you will find a, a quick blog or... Uh, interview where I talked about how I got to be on the show and how I lied about roller skating to get the extra gig with Central Casting in Los Angeles. So check that out. I had to learn to roller skate and it was uh, it was a doozy. It was pretty fun. I ended up having to roller skate about four feet, so it was not that big a deal. But now I can roller skate and I got to be on a show. Um, this is a great show. I love this show. I never actually finished it. I never watched the last season. The whole last season takes place in one location, I think over a weekend or something like that. But I actually never sat down and watched the whole thing. We watched like the first three episodes and then something came up. So we do have to finish this in my household. Um, but I don't know where you can watch this nowadays. I don't think it's on Hulu. I don't think it's on Netflix. And, uh, I think it's a CBS show. So it's probably part of their CBS app, which is uh, very exclusive if you don't have that CBS app. But this is a fun show. I think you will dig it. These questions are all from a website called How Stuff Works, quizzes.howstuffworks. If you ever want to quiz yourself, they have, uh, I think, 20 or 25 questions. We're going to read the first 15. They're all multiple choice, and we'll see how you do. If you like this show, tell a friend about it. Leave an iTunes review and uh, help me spread the word about the Daily Trivia with Buds podcast. We're going to jump into 15 questions on how I met your mother right now. Here we go. All right, here we go. 15 questions on how I met your mother. Carrie, hopefully you get all 15 or you get a good score like at least, I don't know, 12 out of 15. That would be a good quiz score, wouldn't it? Uh, number one, here we go. What college did Ted, Lily, and Marshall all attend? Was it New York University, Wesleyan University, or Kenyon College? Question number one, what college did Ted, Lily, and Marshall all attend? Was it New York University, Wesleyan University, or Kenyon College? Question number two, true or false? McLaren's Pub is the name of the bar where the five friends always hung out. Is that true or or false. True or false, McLaren's Pub is the name of the bar where the five friends always hung out. Question number three, what year is it supposed to be when Ted is telling his two kids about how he met their mom? Is it 2020, 2015, or 2030? What year is it supposed to be? What year? Question number four, all of Lindsay Fonseca's And David Henry's scenes as Ted's future children were filmed during season one. Is that true or false? Number four, true or false, all of Lindsay Fonseca's and David Henry's scenes as Ted's future children were filmed during season one. Question number five, how many women did Ted date that were not the mother? Question number five, how many women did Ted date that were not the mother? Was it 12? 24 or 29? How many women did Ted date that were not the mother? 12, 24, or 29? Question number six. Robin Sherbatsky was a famous Canadian teen pop star in the 1990s. What was the name of her character on the Canadian Kids show? Was it Robin Glitter, Robin Sparkles, or Jessica Glitter? Question number six, Robin Sherbatsky was a famous Canadian teen pop star in the 1990s. What was the name of her character on the Canadian Kids show? Was it Robin Glitter, Robin Sparkles, or Jessica Glitter? Question. 
Question number seven. What was the name of the Canadian kids show that Robin Sparkles starred on? Was it Space Teens, Teen Glow, or Speak Up Kids? Question number seven. What was the name of the Canadian kids show Robin Sparkles starred on? Space Teens, Teen Glow, or Speak Up Kids? Question number eight. Neil Patrick Harris played the role of Barney Stinson. What other actor auditioned for the role of Barney? Was it Justin Long, Jim Parsons, or Sean Hayes? Question number eight. Neil Patrick Harris played the role of Barney Stinson. What other actor auditioned for the role of Barney? Was it Justin Long, Jim Parsons, or Sean Hayes? Question number nine. What is the name of Ted and Barney's legendary bar? Is it called Puzzles? chips or pieces question number nine what is the name of ted and barney's legendary bar puzzles chips or pieces question number 10 where does robin move at the beginning of season four where does robin move at the beginning of season four is it france japan or canada question 10 where does robin move at the beginning of season four france japan or canada Question number 11. After dating Marshall for nine years and being engaged for a year, Lily breaks up with him and moves where? Question number 11. Was that Paris, San Francisco, or Rome? Number 11. After dating Marshall for nine years and being engaged for a year, Lily breaks up with him and moves where? Paris, San Francisco, or Rome? Question number 12, Barney went to San Francisco to convince Lily to get back together with Marshall. Is that true or false? Question number 12, Barney went to San Francisco to convince Lily to get back together with Marshall. Is that true or false? Question number 13, true or false, the naked man maneuver works three out of five times. Is that true or false? Number 13, true or false, the naked man maneuver works three out of five times. Question number 14, who did Barney think was his father? Was it Bob Barker, Regis Philbin, or he never knew? Question 14, who did Barney think was his father? Was it Bob Barker, Regis Philbin, or he never knew? And question 15, which one of these was one of Marshall's nicknames? Was it Big Fudge, Marsh Marsh, or The Marsh? Question 15, the last question of this episode, what is one of Marshall's nicknames? Is it Big Fudge, Marsh Marsh, or The Marsh? All right, those are your questions for the How I Met Your Mother episode of the show. 15 questions in the hatch. Let's take a quick audio break, and we'll be right back with the answers to How I Met Your Mother trivia, picked by Carrie Moore. All right, How I Met Your Mother, one of my favorite sitcoms ever. Here are the answers to round number uh, to, to the round, the only round we did. But question number one, what college did Ted, Lily, and Marshall all attend? It was not New York University. It was not Kenyon College. It was Wesleyan University. Question number one, Wesleyan University. It says Ted and Marshall were roommates at Wesleyan where they also met Lily. Question number two, true or false, McLaren's Pub is the name of the bar where the five friends always hang out. That was true. I think I have a McLaren's Pub t-shirt from my brother Tom. It says the apartment most of them live in at one time or another is located in the building above McLaren's, making it a convenient place to grab a drink. Shout out to my friend Steven, who lives above one of the bars that I host trivia at, McAllen's, another uh, Irishy type place, whiskey bar in Brea, California. He lives in the apartment above, so he's always at trivia and having a drink. Uh, that's just like that show. Number three, what year is it supposed to be when Ted is telling his two kids about how he met their mom? Is it 2020, 2015, or 2030? The answer was 2030. It was supposed to be 2030. Question number four, true or false? All of Lindsay Fonseca and David Henry scenes as Ted's future children were filmed during season one. Was that true or false? The answer was 100% true. The scenes with the kids were all filmed in the first season to keep them the same age throughout the series. It's pretty cool. Number five, how many women did Ted date that were not the mother? 12, 24, or 29? The answer was the most, 29. Ted dated at least 29 women who weren't the mother. Number six, Robin Sherbatsky was a famous Canadian teen pop star in the 90s. What was the name of her character on the Canadian kids show? It was Robin Sparkles. Robin's teen pop star name was Robin Sparkles. Her best friend was Jessica 
Glitter, which was one of the wrong answers there. Number seven, what was the name of the Canadian kids show that Robin Sparkle starred on? It was called Space Teen. Space Teens was about two teenagers, Robin and Jessica, who solved crimes in space using math. Totally awesome. Number eight, Neil Patrick Harris played the role of Barney Stinson. What other actor auditioned for the role of Barney? Was it Justin Long from Jeepers Creepers, Jim Parsons from Big Bang, or Sean Hayes from Will and Grace? It was Jim Parsons, who now stars on The Big Bang Theory, and uh, he played the audition to play Barney, and then he went on to play Sheldon. Number nine, what is the name of Ted and Barney's legendary bar? Is it Puzzles, Chips, or Pieces? Their bar is, of course, named Puzzles, and there is never a last call. Number 10, where does Robin move at the beginning of season four? Is it France, Japan, or Canada? It's Japan. Robin moves to Japan for a new job, but quickly resigns and moves back to New York. Question number 11, after dating Marshall for nine years and being engaged for a year, Lily breaks up with him and moves where? She goes to San Francisco to concentrate on her art career. Number 12, true or false, Barney went to San Francisco to convince Lily to get back together with Marshall. That true or false, the answer is true. Despite being known as a total womanizer, Barney often showed his love of his friends. Number 13, true or false, the naked man maneuver works three out of five times. That is true. Naked man works three out of five times. It's best used as a last resort, kind of a Hail Mary on a first date when you know there's not going to be a second one. Number 14, who did Barney think was his father, Bob Barker, Regis Philbin, or he never knew? The answer was Bob Barker. Barney thought Bob Barker was his dad. Number 15, what is one of Marshall's nicknames? Is it Big Fudge, Marsh Marsh, or The Marsh? His nickname is Big Fudge. I have no more information on that. I forget how he gets it or why he has that name, but it is Big Fudge. Those are your 15 questions. Hopefully, you got most of them. Carrie, let me know how you did in a tweet or a message over on Patreon. And uh, if you want to pick a topic that I'm guaranteed to do on this show, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Donate $5 or more, and you get to pick a topic. Here's some upcoming ones from other Patreon subscribers this month in September. My friend Erica is picking Snick like the uh, late Saturday night Nickelodeon show lineup. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Jess Whitener is doing the Flintstones. Carrie wanted How I Met Your Mother, which we just did today. Alexis Eck in Oklahoma wants Alec Baldwin movies. And my friend Manny wants Archer, the TV show Archer. So a lot of different uh, TV show trivia episodes coming up this month. And if you want to pick one, go to that website, patreon.com slash trivia with buds and throw me a few bucks and we'll get you on the show in the form of your topic picked. If you ever have questions you want to ask me for an episode, I like answering trivia questions myself and I like to see how many I can get. If you have questions you want to send me in an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com, R-Y-A-N-B-U-D-D-S at gmail.com, or you can send me an audio voice memo from your phone and I'll play it on the show. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers.